Hi there, this is Colin at the CSS Hero Academy, and today we're going to talk about padding and margins. So here I am, I've set up a screen already with what's called a CSS box model. Let me explain how this works. So every bit of content we have has a bit of area around it, and then we can actually change that area, make it larger or smaller. So that's called padding. So here we go. I'm going to have a look at this and we're going to explain it. So here's a box. Okay. I've got some content inside it. Now the yellow area is the background of that content. Okay. Now the small area around the text is called padding, but it's inside this blue border. Now, Everything outside of this blue border is going to be the margin for this box. Okay, so let's just uh, start up CSS Hero and explain this. You'll get a better idea as I demonstrate it. So here we go. Start up CSS Hero by clicking on the targeting tool. Okay, I'm going to actually click on this. I've already set this up as a custom CSS area. It's called BM for box model. So I'm going to click on that. Okay, so what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to select padding and we're going to show you what padding does. So I've got padding here. As you can see, I have four sliders here and each one controls the padding for an area. So we'll start off at the top right bottom and left. And the reason we do that is we go around in a clockwise direction. So we start at the top, go to the right, down to the bottom, over to the left and back up to the top. So that's the reason they're in that order. So right now we have a 10 pixel padding around my text. And if I zero all these out, you'll notice that all the content or the border will go right to the edge. As you can see, there's no spacing around there and it looks awful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase this back to 10 and you'll see that we've got a nice bit of spacing around everything here. You can see it moves as I move my slider over here and I've got 10. Now, if I want to make that a little bit bigger, let's say we go to 20. Uh, so I've got 20 around the top now and I can control these independently. So I can put 20 on the top and 20 on the bottom and then leave the sides the same. But I'm going to put all of them at 20. So now I've got a nice big 20 pixel area around my text and that looks a lot better okay so that's the padding and the padding is inside of the border and around your content so that's the first thing next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the border i'm going to show you what happens with the border so this is actually part of the box model but uh, let's go on border here now right now i have a 10 pixel border if i zero that out there you go we've got no border around there and so i've got my content i've got my padding there is no border and then I've got my margin. So the margin is the white area around the box here. So I'm going to leave the border at zero and you'll see what happens here. So let's go back to margin now. And as you can see, I've got no margin around everything. So everything's zeroed out. But if I add 10 pixels here, you'll see that it pushes it down 10 pixels. And if I add to my left here, I want to push it over to the, to the right a little bit. I'm going to add some margin there 20 pixels I've moved it over okay I'm gonna zero this back out for now because I want to show you something else but that is how the margin works the margin is on the outside of your box so if I actually go back and put border back on there quickly I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller this time I'm gonna put in a so you can see it a five pixel border there we go and then go back into margin you'll see that when I move this it actually moves the whole box including the border so that's margin on the outside of the border the padding is on the inside, and uh, I know it gets a little bit confusing sometimes, but uh, if you look to change your padding first, that will contain your content with inside the box. And if you want to move the box with inside the section, then you'll want to use margin, or you can go into the section. Like, for example, right now I'm in this section here. If I click on the section and go to my padding, I can actually push down this gap between the top and the bottom there further like that. So I can increase the padding there. And if I go to the bottom, I can increase the padding there. So I can actually make that section bigger. I could have also done that with margin around the box. But if you can use padding over margin, I would do that every time because padding is a little bit more controllable than margin. So that's a quick lesson on paddings and margins. Here a real world example would be to take a look at uh, this particular content I've got here. Okay, if I click on this, and I'm going to actually select the column. Now I want to push this down a little bit, this content. So I'm going to use some padding and I'm going to push it down. So it actually sits down at the bottom there. As you can see, there's a real world example of moving it. So I'm going to set that back to zero back up there. Okay. As you can see, it's kind of centered and that's padding and margins. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. If you like it, please click subscribe for more lessons each week and don't forget to tell your friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye now.